Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AxesOfTrader.com uh, weekend update show. I know it's not the weekend. Today is uh, Thursday. Uh, tomorrow is Good Friday and we are off. So I figured I'm still in kind of work mode. It's a regular Thursday. Knock out my work uh, today. Uh, obviously look at some charts uh, on the weekend, but just kind of get uh, more and more rest. Uh, you know, no, no lessons tonight, right? No lessons tonight. Uh, not every single day uh, there needs to be a lesson in trading. Um, this video, I just want to, you know, I just want to send everybody um, a lot of good positive vibes. Okay, I think more than anything right now, I know a lot of people are going through a lot of things. Okay, whether it's uh, health-wise with this horrific uh, virus uh, that's unfortunately translating into uh, some financial hardships and all that stuff. So I, I want to send everybody um, really, really good positive vibes this weekend. Okay. Um, I, I want and hope and um, you're, everybody's in my prayers that God just blesses you with just a lot of happiness. I think that's the biggest key right now uh, that every, you know, everybody's going through. Everybody just needs some love in their life, some, some hope in their life. Because again, you know, not every single year, okay, that we go through something like this. And uh, again, like I've been saying for, you know, videos for the, for the last, uh, you know, month and change that, it, again, unfortunately, this is something that, you know, we don't prepare for uh, as people, okay? So there's no playbook on, on how, to, um, how to stay alive, how to function um, kind of in, in, in an area of our lives that nobody's ever told us. Uh, anything about and again, we're gonna get through this, you know, we're gonna get all through this um, Again, you, you see these horrific death totals over and over and over again, especially here in the tri-state area Like every day you're just hearing Countless people dying in New York, New Jersey. I mean, it's just it's just insane. It's just absolutely insane. So uh, instead of me uh, You know talking about what new traders should be doing and this that the other thing There's a time and a place for everything and a lot of times we obviously uh, try to give little uh, pieces to the puzzle, especially for the new trader. But, uh, you know, I, I just want to share, you know, I just want to make sure that again, you know, there's people in your lives, they're, they're going to pr pray for you. Okay. They're going to pray for you. Uh, God is going to be on your side and hopefully we all get uh, through this. So uh, I want to wish everybody an early happy Easter uh, for all you guys who don't celebrate Easter. Uh, I wish you guys a fantastic uh, mental break. We're getting an extra day. Um, and, I, and I think just from the trading aspect, I, I think you have to use, you know, this break, right? This mental break as, um, you know, a way to really dig deep. Okay. I, I know a lot of people, uh, as we talked about in the, in the market, in the video last night, you know, call this a crazy market. Every market's crazy, right? We talked about this yesterday, you know, expect the unexpected. Remember from last night's video? So, you know, I woke up today, I had a smile on my face. I had no expectations. Um, you know, the, the way the market is acting right now, you would think that we were kind of uh, in a fast forward. I don't know what they like one of those back to the future type of things. Um, that you would figure they, they, you know, the market salt was reacting to a year ago that they cured the cure for Corona. That's the way the market's acting. If you look at the, the numbers on the S&P, the S&P had its biggest week since 1974. It was a phenomenal year that year. Yours truly was born. This was, you know, 45 years ago. So the S&P had its biggest year, biggest week since 1974. And this is with the dot com. This is with the whole Trump rally and everything in between. So it's amazing what this market is able to do. Um, nothing makes sense. It's never going to make sense. Not supposed to make sense. Again, our job as traders, and, I, and again, I came to the realization uh, yesterday, I just said, listen, man, whatever happens, happens. You know, I have a bias, I have a sentiment. And if that bias and sentiment doesn't work, right, or doesn't confirm the next day, well, I'm on the other side. And that's exactly what we've been doing. Um, I'm not trying to figure it out. I'm not that smart. I'm just trading channels, same names over and over again. Again, these 
uh, these videos are pretty much the same name. Tesla, Netflix, Facebook, right? It's the same name. So that's kind of my niche. Um, I don't know what's going to happen next week. Um, you know, a lot of people uh, are talking about we have to test the bottom. I, I was one of them, right? We have to test the bottom. And now I'm just kind of in this really good zone of we don't have to do anything, right? We don't absolutely do anything until the price action tells us we are actually testing the bottom. We don't have to do anything, okay? Uh, the market doesn't need to do anything. It doesn't need to do it on your timeline. It doesn't need to do it with your discretion or on your, uh, on your dime. The market is going to do when the market's going to do. And 100 years from now, when we're not here together, okay, the market is still going to uh, completely do what it wants to do. So I, I think just go with the flow, okay? Uh, go with the flow. Don't have uh, this monster bias one direction or the other. Yes. Uh, you know, some lights at the end of the tunnel, flatlining some curves. Again, depth is still going higher, which is an incredible shame. Uh, but we'll see. Wherever we'll be, we will be. Okay, and, I, and that's the best way to do it. If the, the key is right now, uh, if you're a seasoned trader, you know, again, don't be, you know, don't paint yourself in the corner. If you're a new trader, absorb information, right? We're all different stages of our career. Some are in the development some are more in advanced stages. We're all trying to process new information, whether to get to the next uh, area of our, of our um, longevity or just kind of maintain where you are right now. But again, like I said, we'll get through this together um, as, as uh, a united world, right? As a united world, as united people of the earth. And hopefully one day we'll all be happy and outside uh, together. So, you know, let's talk about the tape, right? Biggest, again, biggest week since, uh, for the S&P since 1974, 45 years ago. Okay. Um, like I said, the market is acting like we cured Corona a year ago. Is this going to spill over into Monday session? Right. We don't know. We don't know. Uh, again, these are the technical levels. Uh, you have to trade off technical levels. My opinion going into Monday, you know, can we get a back test? Yeah. Okay. Can we go higher? Okay. The point is have an opinion. Okay. Like I say, every, every video, have an opinion, have a bias and make sure your game plan from the research from the night before is going to be confirmed in the next session. Okay. We don't want to forecast. We don't have crystal balls. Again, we're not that smart. It's all about price confirmation. So if you look at today's action, again, the Dow up a little less than 300, um, the, the, the leaders of the market continue to be strong. Tesla, again, this I'm, I've, I've ran out of, you know, I've ran out of things to say about Tesla. And again, this week has been phenomenal Tesla trading. I mean, it really has been really, really good Tesla trading. Uh, big aggressive pivot today. Uh, Beyond even woke up today. I, I really like Beyond uh, going into uh, today's session. I caught Beyond. Shocking, but I caught Beyond today. Uh, so Tesla was really good today. Beyond was pretty good. We, we didn't, it wasn't one of those days that you had 20 pivots. Okay. But the ones that confirmed they did what they had to do. And that's the most important part. Again, it's not uh, a game of how many trades you can put on. It's how many trades uh, you can put on properly. So uh, let's dive into the pivots today, right? Um, again, let's dive into them. Uh, again, this was Tesla, you know, six, 560 sneaky area, uh, 566 needs to confirm. That's the pre-market highs of, um, of what is it, uh, on April 8th. And Tesla just exploded. I mean, I caught this thing right from the word go. I mean, this is a, just a monster move, big, big monster move. What was great about it, and this is where, and this is where a lot of people have the questions. Again, what's more important? Is it the 60 minute interval or the daily? It's always the daily. Remember, daily charts need to be confirmed. The reason why that 65, 66 level was here, this 565, that was confirming the last daily supply. If you can see here, the high here uh, was 565. So not only did it need to clear out the 565, it also needed to clear out uh, the 566, that was the pre-market high that day. This is the whole channel here. Again, uh, we had a great, great discussion about uh, channel confirmation versus price confirmation. I believe that video will be out to um, the general public on YouTube sooner than later. Okay, sooner than later. Um, again, there's a huge difference between uh, a channel confirming than a price confirming. And we'll talk about that. Uh, you'll, you'll see it when the video comes out. You'll see why. Uh, but this is a big move, really, really big move. So uh, Tesla cleared this out and just exploded, put it in a high uh, 575. Again, when, when you get a big candle, I, I caught six, six and change 
uh, off the first uh, off the first eight and a half dollar potential. So I was very very happy with that trade. And there was another trade here that we picked off. That got it got it got stuffed a little bit. I only make like a dollar on like a dollar and change on a little bit, and then I got broke even on the balance. But this thing's going higher. And again, like we discussed in the video yesterday. Uh, you had massive call buyers going into for today's expiration for the 560s. And if you look at the option flow today, you, they're, they're, they're rolling it over, right? They're rolling up for next week's uh, 600 calls. And you can just see it. If this thing starts reclaiming this top of the range here, this Tesla is going to absolutely explode. So, I mean, phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal uh, move on Tesla. Uh, Google traded right to 12.22, traded right to that level, got rejected. Again, uh, going forward, 12.22 is going to be a big, big number uh, on Google. Uh, Amazon, I, I really liked it last night off of uh, 20.45. The problem is it gapped up to the pre-market highs at 20.60 and never confirmed. So I still like this 20.60 level going forward. Today's high was actually 20. I think 2053, 2054, but I, I like this 2060 level going forward. Also today, uh, you saw 2100 calls being traded and also 2200 calls, uh, shorter term expiration being traded as well. Uh, Netflix was a nice push, I mean, nice move down here. This is one of the very few names uh, we had on the downside. There was one here as well on, on ZM, we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, 368 on uh, Netflix, again, we talked about this last night. Um, this was the 368 was the 10 day low. Uh, once it got confirmed, I, I thought it was gonna get down to 361 it actually got down to 363. So here was Netflix again. Here's what we talk about. Here's the, the 10 day moving average that stopped yesterday. Everybody see that guys. You see how it stopped yesterday, the 10 day moving average with a low of 368.30. So I knew if this thing was, gonna, if this thing was going to, uh, confirm that 368, I said there was a shot at 361, 362. And Netflix got hit, right? Broke the 368, started confirming down, put in a low of 363. So nice move on uh, Netflix. Zoom only came in a dollar, okay? Zoom only came in a buck. Uh, 115, if it builds below, can flush. Wasn't really a big flush, not at all. Um, so here is the 115. I actually like this thing to the upside going into Monday. So here is the 115 channel. You'll see what I'm talking about. So all this right here was 115, 115, 115. And it broke below 115. It put in a low of 114 and then just spiked right back up. So I actually like it for... I actually like it for next week. You see, guys, you see how it stopped? It got rejected three times in this daily supply. Once right here, once right here, and once right here. Today's today's highs. If next week, if this thing can just reclaim this supply right here, it's going to it's going to trade back into the 130 area. So I actually like ZM uh, going into next week. Uh, Disney uh, 108.40 rejection three times needs to reclaim. Disney never got up there. Uh, never got there. Alibaba, you know, nice move. Uh, 199 needs to build. Here was Alibaba's chart, right? Here was the Alibaba chart. Here was the 199, right? Here was this top of this channel here, 199. Oh, excuse me, right here. 199 was a channel, and once it broke that 199, uh, again, nice little move to 2035. Nothing wrong with that. Not the biggest trade in the world, but nothing wrong with that. So uh, that was fine. Beyond, I, I made money. I couldn't believe I actually made money in Beyond. Shocking. Um, I actually, we had this on our watch list last night, uh, 72. And the reason why it was 72, if you look at the daily chart of BYND, right? If you look at these two candles, right? It was, uh, it stopped at 71.80 into daily supply and yesterday's low was 71.40. So I said, hey, if this thing, if this thing breaks and starts building above 72, I think this thing can go. The reason why I put 73 on the Twitter, on the private Twitter feed, as you're seeing here, there was a supply zone. So the last thing I wanted you guys at home, you know, that what, you know, that weren't getting my, you know, weren't getting my commentary, my live commentary. The last thing I wanted you guys to do is get rejected at 72 and change and then kind of roll over. So I put 73 and even if, if you, I mean, I got long at 72, uh, it went, you know, even if you got long at 73, this thing went to almost 75. I still like it for uh, going into next week. So that was good. So uh, beautiful move on Tesla. I, I love this stock. I really do. Beautiful move on Tesla. Uh, nice spike in Alibaba. Beyond take on the way up. Um, Netflix, you know, Netflix came in five. What a move on Chewy, right? What an absolute move on Chewy. Uh, 3963 needs to build. Chewy went nuts. Okay, Chewy went nuts again. This was just you know this was nothing more than just a daily confirmation. This wasn't you know any sneaky pivots or anything. 
uh, it, it, you know, exotic. This is just the top of the range here on the daily chart. Um, the January, February, the March 30 highs, it started building above 39.63 and it went all the way up to 42.69. Huge move, huge move on Chewy. Uh, here is the second pivot that I took on Tesla. Uh, it built 570, uh, spiked up about only a couple of bucks uh, and it stopped there. As you can see here, Monster 600 call buyers are positioning for next week. Uh, but it looks great. So I caught it. My second trade was only like a dollar and change. Uh, and then the rest I, I broke even on. But again, Tesla was just really, really big. Uh, 41 on deck on Chewy went to almost 43. So again, you didn't need, it wasn't like one of those days you needed everything. Okay. Uh, but the moral of the story is, again, it's all about value. Um, I, again, I'm trading the majority of these. I'm trading these 9, 10 names pretty much every day. Uh, just in a different rotation. Um, you know, look, anything could happen next week, okay? I think uh, this weekend, uh, again, if, you, if you've if you watched uh, the PS60 workshop, there's three of them, okay? Uh, but the 2.0 and the 3.0 really dissect uh, the moving parts of these pivots. Again, I've been, I've been putting out these pivots for years. I've been trading these pivots now for eight years. I put them out in real time, and I mean, you guys see it, man. There's nothing... Uh, there's nothing, um, you know, there's nothing exotic about them. It's just it's tr stocks trade from supply to supply, demand to demand. There's an arbitrage in between these channels. So if you are home and you have, uh, you know, two, three days worth of downtime, you know, watch these workshops. Uh, we, are, we also included um, this new segment. It should be out. I don't know, I don't, I don't know when Kyler is going to put it out. Uh, but there's another uh, installment, again, of a video I put out um, Again, the breaking down the difference between a confirmation channel and a confirmation price, I, I think it's a very good complement to kind of what we're doing, especially for the newer traders. So just try to use this downtime, uh, this three days of you know making yourself better, you know making yourself into a better trader, uh, giving yourself some downtime. Uh, you need a release, but the most important thing is again, guys, we're all in this together. Um, I pray for everybody. Okay, a lot of people are going, unfortunately into a really horrific time in their lives. And, you know, I just want you to know that everybody's in my prayers. Um, the most important part is we get out of this better, happier, with a better perspective on life. And the name of the game is uh, just to be around. All right, guys, stay home. Happy Easter to all. God bless you guys. And God's help, I'll see you all on Tuesday. Take care, everybody. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.